What's up, Blue Reapers? It's your girl, Blue Demzo, coming at you from my car. I'm actually about to go pick up some rock. Now, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I hate, hate, hate aquascaping. I've had some really horrible, atrocious aquascapes in the past. So let's just take a look at some of my terrible aquascapes in the past. <laughs> The rock pieces I got are a little too big for this tank. So we're going to go work on a little bit of aquascaping and I'm going to try and chisel them down a little bit. I ended up taking out the rock and trying to rescape my tank, which turned into a complete and utter mess. I hate rockscaping. I have the worst time rockscaping. Something like this, but of course, when I move it to put it in the tank, it's not gonna end up like this. I ended up moving and changing my rock around, which ended up starting a new cycle in the tank. Don't judge, don't judge. Over the years, I've learned a lot. I've learned some tips and tricks and kind of gotten more accustomed to like dealing with the rock and I've done some more research and I think I think we can make something work this time. I'm not saying that I'm a professional. I'm not saying that this is gonna be the best aquascape you've ever seen in your whole entire life, but I think I've gotten much better. So let's see what we can come up with for our five gallon. We're gonna be starting a five gallon build. It's five and a half gallons, 5.5. .5. So normally the rule of thumb is about one pound of rock per gallon. Sometimes it's really hard to find small pieces for your nano tank. So we're gonna look for the smallest pieces we can find. And then if we have to break them later, we'll break them, it's okay. You wanna make sure that you pick up a couple of shelf rock pieces. These are these flat pieces that serve as the base for the rest of your rock and helps to stabilize the rock where it doesn't topple over. So I ended up picking up about 5.3 pounds and then I went back on another day and got three Three more pounds for a total of about eight pounds of rock. I didn't use it all but I just wanted to have different pieces that I could kind of play around with. Some of the larger pieces were still a little bit too big for my tank so I had to break them down even more and I didn't have a chisel handy so I resorted to one of my favorite techniques and that is smashing the rock on the driveway on the pavement outside of my house. I first started tossing it up in the air hoping that the higher it was the easier it would break but that didn't work. It took me a few tries to realize and figure out that the best method is to actually just overhand pound it right into the pavement. Here we go. Oh, perfect. It broke in two. Success. I didn't even dare look around to see if anybody was looking at me. <laughs> I honestly didn't care. I was having way too much fun. If you haven't tried the driveway smash method, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's way more fun than chiseling with a hammer and it helps you relieve a lot of stress. Then we get to the fun, not so fun part where you have to kind of get all of your pieces and try to kind of fit them in together to make some sort of visually appealing kind of rock structure. So I first started out by tracing out the outline of the aquarium just so I knew the guidelines and where the rock needed to stay within according to the dimensions and the size of the tank. Even though it's a small tank, uh, it still took me about an hour, two hours to kind of put everything together and play around with everything. So I decided to kind of build three separate little structures that I can kind of move in and around each other. I feel like it makes it easier to kind of put in and take out rocks. Once I was happy with what I kind of made, I glued everything together and I actually put uh, two layers of glue. So I kind of wait for the first layer to dry 
and then I go back and reinforce the parts that I glued and then glue any other parts that I might have missed. And this is what I ended up with. I'm very happy with it. Again, it's not perfect. And I ended up using probably around four to six pounds of rock. Our next step is going to be obviously adding water, sand, salt, getting everything running for the ammonia cycle. So make sure to tune in next time so you can see the process for that. Until next time, remember to just keep swimming and I will see you in the next video. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do with swimming?